yeah, it's um, obviously very disappointing to lose those guys. Uh, a lot of experience, I guess, goes out of our side now. But, um, I mean, we've been uh, struck with a few injuries throughout the year and uh, it's given other guys opportunities to play and come in and step into those roles. So, um, I guess the, the feeling around the around the rooms at the moment, it's still positive. Um, we can't go reading into what other people think and other people's opinions. We're just, uh, you know, head down, bum up, working hard and um, trying to change the momentum. How are those guys? I assume everyone's gotten around them as best they can. Yep. Nice surgery, all that. Yeah, uh, yeah, very positive. Uh, Joey was in this morning, had a little bit to say. Um, you know, he's the leader of the footy club for a reason. He's uh, getting around the boys and um, you know, just giving us every chance to go out there and, and play well. So uh, Isaac's the same. He was in yesterday, uh, had his surgery, pulled up well. So um, he's in a similar boat. What, what is the message of those guys at the moment? What did Joey have to say this morning? It's just about um, sticking to what we know and, and backing ourselves in. Um, don't go listening to that outside noise and don't read into it. It's important that we, we stick together as a group and stay tight and um, we just work hard to get ourselves out of this. Yeah, well, we might be in 17th, but I think we're only two games outside the top four, one game outside the eight. So, still early in the season. Um, yeah, obviously, Joey's record speaks for itself. Same with Haynes. They're, they're important players for us, but they're not going to be out there. So, it's uh, important. The other senior guys, we step up around them uh, and we give the give the young kids a lot, a lot of lot, uh, confidence coming in that they're going to play a role. Yeah, we certainly need to change things. Uh, a lot of our, I guess, tall timber in our side's not playing at the moment, so uh, structurally we've got, to, we've got to change a few things here and there, but um, our game plan does generally stay the same. Um, again, it's just that uh, ability for younger guys to come in now and play maybe a more prominent role in the midfield or um, whatever it may be, but um, we're still pretty confident. Um, yeah, it was obviously a bit of a slog out there. Uh, it wasn't ideal conditions, but um, look, it felt like, to be honest, when I was out there, I felt like we we're going to we we're going to pinch it in the end. Uh, obviously, there wasn't a lot of goals kicked, but um, I think our attack and our effort around the footy has been good. Structurally, we just need to get a little bit better behind the footy and um, in front of the footy to, to kick a few more goals. But um, you know, disappointing. We don't want to we don't uh, want to praise losses, but uh, our effort and intensity around the footy is certainly there. Yeah, no, um, certainly wasn't 75,000, that's for sure. But, um, I mean, we played our six defenders. Uh, Horse spoke about it early in the week, but they had a forward that went up to the stoppage, so it allowed us to have a spare behind the footy, which, um, yeah, I guess stopped them from scoring. Uh, how hard is it to play without What does it actually mean when you're in a game situation? Probably good to take one option, but that option is there, so you have to uh, work in those moments. Yeah, that's, I guess, uh, as a group where we're at at the moment, just trying to learn how different avenues to towards goal and how we can score a little bit easier. It's, um, you know, cuts sort of roll and go and kick long and have Reedy there who can clunk a mark or Bud there that can clunk a mark. So it's, um, you know, we're still working through that now. And, um, you know, I guess a couple of weeks ago, we probably were a little bit uh, too uh, over -hamp. We use the handball a little bit too much in our games. And uh, other times, you know, we, we just were too slow to move the footy. So they're just things we're, we're working on as a group and uh, we're just going to keep working hard. and. I'm sure to come. Any indication any of those taller guys will be ready this week? I know there's a couple of people that are hoping to do. Yeah, uh, again, it's going to depend on training today, but uh, I know Reedy played a little bit of the game last week, um, which is which is important for us. Um, obviously, a leader down in that forward group, and uh, you know he's an important part of our team. We need him out there. Is Tommy McCartney sticking around, or is he still? Uh, yeah, Tommy's been running. Uh, he's been running. I think he'll do a bit of training today as well. So uh, he's certainly knocking on the door as well. Yeah, it's, it's been mentioned. Um, obviously, the next couple of weeks, I think, are locked in. Uh, we're playing Gold Coast and Hawthorne here in Sydney. So unless uh, anything dramatic changes across New South Wales in the next few days, um, yeah, hopefully we'll be staying in Sydney and playing the footy here. How much is this going 
yeah, it's different. It's different for everyone, but um, I guess we're all in the same boat. So uh, I guess as a footy club, uh, whoever can deal with it the best is probably going to um, see the reward at the end of it. Uh, you know, we're we're just uh, transparent with what um, with what comes week to week, day to day. It's uh, it's all changing pretty quickly. So um, we're ready to if we do have to move, we'll, we'll uh, work that out when it happens. But um, we're just looking forward to playing some games in Sydney the next couple of weeks. Yeah, certainly had a bit of a glimpse. Uh, he's a pretty impressive player. Uh, the ability just to uh, kick a goal from nowhere is, uh, you know, a pretty pretty good skill, and um, he's someone that we're really going to have to target this weekend down that 450. Not too many second game players probably need to play on, but I guess he's a good player. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, three goals in a couple of quarters last week. He was pretty impressive. So um, we look to uh, shut him down this weekend. But they've got a, a number of good players. They're playing some really good football at the moment. So um, it's going to take a team effort.